Hi everyone, this is Bonnie from Really Reasonable Ribbon and today I'll be making big bows with my Bow It All tool from Zutter. These big bows are great for gift packaging and wreaths and other home deck projects. And we're going to start out today with a simple big loopy bow like the one you see here. I have my back pegs set at 3 and 9 inches and my front are set at 3 and 8 inches. And I have approximately five yards of my inch and a half wide silky crush ribbon. On the left, I'm going to leave a decent amount for the tail. And we're going to start with the ribbon around the back two pegs. We're going to make a layered bow. So we're going to be wrapping in a figure eight pattern, alternating between the back and the front pegs until we have six loops on each side of the front and the back. So that's three on each side and we're out of peg. So what I do then is just scrunch that down as far as it'll go and then keep wrapping. And every time you run out of room, just scrunch it down a little tighter so you can get some more loops on there. Okay, so that's six on each side. Now we're going to take the ribbon in my right hand and we're going to bring it through the center. Now before we go any further with our knot, I'm going to scrunch this as tight as I can because it'll help us to get our, our knot in the center tighter. So we got the ribbon in my right hand has gone through the center. The ribbon in my left hand is going to be the center of the bow. So I have that folded in half and I'm going to bring it down and through the bottom. Now I'm going to switch hands and I have now my cut ribbon, which I know is my cut ribbon because I put a little point on it. That's my cut end. My working end is in my left hand. I'm going to make a loop with the working ribbon and bring the cut end around through and out the right side which will make our locking C-knot. I'm going to lightly tighten it and take a look. Make sure it's in the center and everything is the way you want it to be. When you're satisfied, you're going to tighten that as much as you can. When I have a bulky bow like this, I kind of rock it and pull. It kind of helps to get it as tight as possible. I just go left, right, you know, rocking back and forth until I have it real tight. Then you can cut your ends, trim your tails if you want, or else you can wait and do that later. And then slide your bow off. And there's your loopy bow. This is a really easy ribbon to work with. It basically fluffs itself. There's not a lot that you have to do when it comes off because it just pops right open. So you can either use it like that or put something in the center, whatever, you know, embellishment of your choice. So that's the first quick and easy one. Now we are going to make a double tailed bow. And I'm going to start with red gingham and I'm working on the back pegs only. And I'm going to go for I think five. And again, if you run out of room, just scrunch it down. So there's five on each side, bringing it. The ribbon in my right hand is going to go through the middle. The ribbon on my left hand is the center, so folded that in half, bring it down around, and I'm just going to tie my locking C-knot. Make sure you've scrunched so you can get that knot as tight as possible. 
This knot isn't that important because you're not going to see it because the next one is going to be on top of it anyway. So you can then trim your tails for this. And next I have an inch and a half wide double face satin in red. And being that this is a little bit bulkier than the gingham, I'm just going to do three loops with this ribbon. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go through the center, cross the ribbons over. This center will show if you're not gonna use some sort of embellishment. So I'm gonna take the extra time to make sure this looks neat. And when we're tying the knot for this, we have to just be careful to catch the gingham bow in the knot because that's what will join the two together. And again, if I wasn't filming, I would take a little more time to make sure the bow is exactly the way I want it to look. And then again, just work it until you can get that knot as tight as possible. And trim your tails. You can always re-trim your tails later. And slide her off. At this point, you're just gonna fluff the loops until you have the bow looking exactly the way you want it to. Rather than watch me do that now, I have one that I've already fluffed. And I, I put a little paper flower in there. I wanted a little embellishment in the center, so that's what that will look like. So the easiest possible bow that you can do for a big, wide, and loopy bow, the best ribbon you can use is a sheer wired edge ribbon. Gonna make the pegs just a little wider for this one. Now I'm on the two and the nine for the back and the two and the eight for the front loops. And I have this inch and a half wide sheer ribbon and we are going to just do a layered bow and I'm going to figure eight wrap in a figure eight pattern alternating between the front and the back pegs and I'm just going to keep wrapping until I run out of ribbon you can keep adding loops as many as you can get just keep squishing down and scrunching the ribbon until you run out of ribbon. You just keep adding more loops. You can make it as loopy as you want. And I think this will be it because I'm coming to the end. So now the ribbon in my right hand is going to come through the center. I'm going to squeeze these together. The ribbon in my left hand will be the center of the bow. So it's going to come down and around the back. I'm going to make my locking C knot. And gently tighten it. Take a look and see if there's anything that I want to readjust. sure the center's in the center and once I'm happy with it I'm just gonna wiggle back and forth and tighten it as much as I possibly can you can either trim your tails now or wait till later and take it off and then you're just gonna fluff the loops so here is a bow that I've already taken the time. It takes a little bit of time to fluff and shape your loops. Um, this has a few less loops because I think I had like four yards of this. But you can see how once you shape your loops with the wired edge ribbon, it's going to stay exactly the way you want. It makes a beautiful, puffy, large bow. 
So one other thing I wanted to do before, while I had you with this movie, I had a question about using um, wider ribbon where, when you're trying to make the center, it has a bit of a pattern. So just let me get rid of a couple of these pegs. And we'll do a quick demo on that. So I got just four inches wide for this. And I'm gonna do just a basic figure eight wrapping and we're gonna do two loops on each side. So usually I say, I've been saying just fold the center in half, but you, which would be actually fine. But if you want that chevron to run down the center of the center of your bow, you just have to take a little bit more time and like fold it in for thirds so you can get that chevron centered there. I mean, there's no right and wrong way to do this. Whatever looks good to you is what you should do. But, you know, play with it until it's the way you like it. And just tie your knot. Once you get it lightly tightened, you can still play with it, but you see how you now have the chevron in the center of the bow also. So just experiment, whatever looks good to you. Whatever makes you happy is the right way to do it. You know, without too much fussing, that's what you have. And there it is. Thanks so much for watching today. If you like the video, please click like below and leave me a comment. Be sure to subscribe to our Reasonable Ribbon channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos.